hi guys thank you and welcome back to my channel and today i want to take you uh, through the process of retrieving your unique payment number that is uh, the eSleep number this number is what i want to uh, show you how you can retrieve it from the nssf uh, SF24 management portal or NSSF portal. This number at times you may need it uh, for filing, you may need it for uh, making or making a payment and sometimes it becomes very difficult if you want this copy uh, for a month that is uh, long gone or uh, for a month that you already did uh, the payment or you already retrieved uh, your uh, UPN number but uh, you never uh, made a copy or you never uh, saved a copy for uh, printing or for filing and uh, today maybe you want to uh, retrieve uh, this copy but at times it becomes very very difficult for you to re retrieve this number so let me take you straight to uh, the uh, NSSF portal and show you how you can retrieve uh, this copy so that you can use it uh, for either uh, payment because without uh, this number here uh, you cannot make a payment without this number uh, here you cannot show a proof uh, that you did uh, make a payment so let's jump straight into the NSSF portal and see how we can retrieve uh, this uh, unique payment number. Aha. Uh -huh. So uh, this is the portal. This is the portal. This is the home page uh, of uh, the, to the portal. Uh, that is the SF24 management uh, portal. So you will need to click on this uh, payment order after uh, logging in. And when you click on this payment order, it will take you to this uh, page here. On this page, uh, you will need to uh, click on this search icon here. This is where you will re uh, be required to go. So click on that search icon. Click on the search icon. When you click on this search icon, a calendar will appear. This uh, calendar right here will appear and uh, on this calendar, this is where you will uh, need to choose uh, the date that maybe you generated uh, this uh, uh, eSleep number or UPN number. If it is a UPN number that you need to make a payment, either you generated it uh, some time back and you were unable to make a payment or you never saved a copy into your PC, then you will have to be very sure of uh, the dates. But it is very easy because you will only be required to search uh, for uh, uh, within that specific month say uh, start uh, from month uh, of august and then you'll start from date one of august till uh, the 31st of august so it should be within the specified dates or within the dates when you uh, produced the s uh, the the unique number so remember here if you never made a payment you have to check on the unpaid uh uh, copy uh, you will search for the unpaid copy but if you made a payment and maybe you want to print that copy and file it somewhere then uh, you need to change this uh, unpaid to paid so click on paid and after you click on paid you can do a search so when you search like for example after i did a search my only upn number that uh, came up is this one if i change uh, to maybe a different date say for example i go to the month of uh, april and then i go till the month of uh, may i want to see how many uh, paid uh, upn numbers i have so i'll do a search and here you can see 
I have the first one that was done in the month of June, the second one that was done in the month of July, and the third one that was done in the month of uh, May. So it is upon me to choose the ones that I want. If I want all of this, I'll go one by one. So if, for example, uh, I want this one, uh, if I want uh, this one, I'll click on that one and then I'll select. When I click on select, it will uh, uh, it will paste itself here and what i will be required to do after uh, the retrieval i will need to go to the print icon this icon here is what i will need so that i can uh, do a print of uh, a printout of that copy so click on the print uh, icon it will take you to this uh, page here uh, where you can see that uh, you had uh, this unique payment number and the payment that you made is around here and everything is in intact tire one tire two everything is intact so what you need to do is to click on uh print uh if you don't want to print uh for example if you want to print you choose the printer of your choice or the printer that is installed and is available uh, or if you don't want to print you can save as pdf to the uh, to your PC so uh, that is what I wanted to show you and uh, I believe uh, this will help you a uh, big deal and uh, if you have uh, seen this to be of great or helpful please give this video a thumbs up and if you have not maybe if you have not subscribed to this channel please do so so that I can uh, drop you more videos as uh, we continue so uh, thank you until i see you in my next video peace